Uh, women are the most visible military members, but they are the least visible veterans. We stick out, but we try to blend in. Um, and then when we get out, we can't seem to convince the world that we served. So I have this theory of the reason why it's really difficult for military women to transition to being veterans, and that's because of the shift in our status and our connections. Before we join, we're in some kind of a group um, and some level of status, but whatever it might be, it's still a status. Um, and most likely, uh, we act the way that people expect us to act, and then we definitely shock them by joining the military. More often than not, women are discouraged from doing this. Uh, when I told my mom I was signing up, uh, she ended the conversation by saying that's not something that we're going to talk about over the phone. Um, but when I was younger and I dreamed of attending a military academy someday or, you know, joining, going into the military, uh, we went on a family trip. Uh, we went out to West Point. They showed me the, the beds there and said, you could never make your bed like this. You cannot join the military. But I did that anyway because um, I'm a little bit of a rebel, but also I had a bit of a, I had um, service. My family has served since the Revolutionary War, and it was something that I felt was needed and that I wanted to do. And I actually, I went to school to be a high school teacher, and it turned out I did not like high school kids. So I had to go back to, you know, doing what my original dream was, which was being in the military. And it, this picture here, you can see, actually, they don't have sheets in the war zone. So it doesn't matter that I couldn't make my bed <laughs> in the end. I had a sleeping bag and uh, a mattress. And that was plenty. Uh, so I think that as these women, as we transition um, into, the, uh, into the military, we have to take on more masculine, uh, more masculine traits. We have to be as strong and tough as the men around us. We have to learn to be, be aggressive, physically fit, and avoid our expressions of emotion. <clears throat> and then, um, so my uh, experience in the military uh, was uh, far from being a secretary or a nurse, I think often the thought, at least for a long time, was that our military women were uh, secretaries or nurses. Um, but I was uh, an Air Force um, intelligence officer, and I served the Special Tactics Combat Controllers and Pararescue, which you didn't see in the Air Force's airplane video. There were actually people on the ground doing some really tough work with the Navy and the Army and the Air Force to make that integration happen. Um, and I was actually the first woman to deploy with my specific unit out into Afghanistan. Um, and this uh, picture here is a picture of my husband and I on the on the wing of an A-10 um, on our honeymoon um, at our uh, at a promotion ceremony. Um, and um, yeah, so I actually volunteered to take that last deployment. And the, what they told me is, uh, I don't know, ma'am, because we haven't ever taken a woman to do this job before. And we're going to have to find out. Um, but I worked hard so that no one would ever consider me to be just a girl. And so when they called back, um, they requested me to fill that position by name. But then uh, we transition. We transition out of the military back into the civilian world. Um, and we're definitely not who we were before. More than that, we're not what the community expects us to be. So what the difference between that transition for our male and female uh, veterans is, is that the men who've embodied these traits are lauded. They are welcomed home with honor for their sacrifice. And they definitely, they should be. I don't, what I'm saying should not take away from the honor that they have. But it, women who've had done this thing as well are often seen as an other. They're othered in all the communities that they uh, are in, most, most all communities, because now they, and they become just a girl again. Uh, but this time they're not like the other girls. They're only one in a hundred of the girls, one in 200 in their community. And they're more masculine, they're tougher, they're aggressive, they're loud and assertive. But people uh, want them to be quiet or listen more if they're parents. People question their parenting. How could you leave your children to go to war? That's not a question or a thought they have about the male veterans. <clears throat> 